Hello there people, this is Christian, welcome back to my computer and Fusion for 60 And this little cone shape, this is from a reddit question I have called it a bit, i done some extra features on this just for the fun of this uh, The important question was, uh, can we somehow get the yellow face, or like a market it turns it blue uh, Like a, a flat pattern of this, so we can do like a vinyl uh, vinyl wrapping so you can get you need to get this uh, shape including all the cutouts so we can make like a vinyl we can wrap it and put some text on him yeah somehow you can also use it for some other things but i think i will place that in another video so let's get started so um, i have a design here i made something with some cutouts for some sensors and some uh, holes here where you're going to mount it or something just to have some more geometry on this cone face so we need to take care of that this is a derived component component i have pulled in for now design we did it deliberately so i do not have any sketches here i just have a geometry so if you happen to have a step file you import you should be able to do the same workflow as long as uh, this is a true cone and not some strange lofted shape uh, we're going to use the sheet metal functions and that means we need to have a developable surface so it can only be bent around one axis and a cone is that that's the center axis so i have uh, derived this into its own component because i want to create a new component we are going to place the flat pattern of the cone face so let's just call it cone face flat like that we have a new component it becomes active and we're going to open it up so step number one we want this geometry over to the component so we're going to skip over to surface tools i have moved around some of the tools in the toolbar they are in basically the same place this way are up here and you don't hide them here just click on the drop down menu and you can find offset face i happen to have it up here so click offset or offset surface or offset face i will not move a face i will create a surface body from this face here simply click on that you can see it highlights one face uh, no distance gonna click ok new body because we want to create a body within the new component then we just hide our reference body and now we have a surface so this is the thing we want to flatten and uh, within sheet metal and of course you want to do it in real life you need to somewhere do a cut or a rip so you can split this and make it flat looking at the design look straight for the top you see the obvious place to do a cut would be straight down here so that's what we're going to do we're going to create a sketch in this case i'm lucky to have a plane down here if you don't have you need to create a plane somewhere that is uh, perpendicular to the axis of a cone basically it doesn't matter where it is because we're going to do a rectangle and cut it can be above it can be below it doesn't matter but I'm going to select the, the plane here we will hit p for project we want the outer edge only the outer edge we don't need the inner one click ok and for visibility let's open up our browser and hide the body you can see this is only for reference i'm going to highlight it and turn it into construction geometry makes things a bit easier start with the rectangle going to turn on the body to see that i'm doing the rectangle in the correct direction i want to make the rectangle downwards here so i'm going to start at the center point of a cone it happens to be origin point two here but if it is not if after you have projected in you have the center point going to make a rectangle i can make it to the right or to the left it doesn't matter but i need to pay attention when i do next steps or further steps here so i'm just going to click somewhere out here do a coincident constraint from for this line that starts at the center of a cone this should be coincident to the outer edge of a cone and now we need one dimension and it's the width of this here so that's, to start off we're going to make this five so we're going to go back to quite a wide gap we're going to cut going to finish sketch if you don't want to finish sketch we're going to do an extrude so simply hit e on the keyboard and we immediately get to the extrude command uh let's have a look so we look at things from correct direction turn on our body because we're going to cut the body but i simply first of all take this and pull it up and see okay if i do this 150 i cut well uh, above the cone i know i i need to cut so i'm going to just do that and now i'm going to change operation from new body to cut and it will cut the surface body hit ok you can hide the sketch for now just gonna have a look first so now we've done a cut of this cone gonna turn on the sketch again for reference to see where i did so i need to be aware of that this edge here is the one that's aligned with the center and we're gonna work from that 
I'm going to now do a ruled surface. Find it under create a bit down, or I have it up here. Ruled surface. And I select the edge that is aligned. Now, first of all, you need to turn off chain selection, or you will select all edges. So turn off chain selection. We're going to select the edge here. We're now going to pull it out. Just do it, uh, seem to do it three millimeters to start off. And as you can see, it's doing it the wrong direction. I want it to be aligned with the surface. I'm going to change the type from normal to tangent. You can see it makes a tangent body from this edge here. Going to hit new body. We can't join right here, so you need to do a new, new body. Or we, we do not join a surface body, we stitch them. So we're going to do that now. We're going to select, hold down control, select both bodies, use the stitch command, and simply hit OK. And we are down to one single surface body. We can now hide the sketch. Have a look at things. Let's look good. Now we need to add some thickness, otherwise we'll not be able to use uh, uh, sheet metal tools. And why we're doing a flat part is because the sheet metal tools uh, needs one small flat part of the sheet metal to work. I'm going to make it really small in a short while here. We're going to create, we're going to thicken, simply select our body here. And it wants to do it outwards. And of course, we want to do the thicken inwards because we do not want to tamper with the dimension of outside. So I'm simply going to do it minus one. Do not be too violent with the thickness. Hit OK. The surface body has done its job, so I'm going to right click it and select remove to keep the browser nice and clean. We now have a surface uh, cone, or we have a solid body cone with a small flat part here. And I'm now going to use that. We pop over to the sheet metal, create, convert to sheet metal, select the flat face. It's just going to pop up with the sheet metal rule. I have already made uh, some cheating rules, which I use when I need to do this. So I don't need to the extra steps. I'm going to show you. I'm just going to use aluminum or aluminum. I'm going to call it one millimeter. doesn't matter. Just going to hit OK. And now we have turned the component into a sheet metal component. It's not very important. It's going to help us do things. So step number one now, I'm going to update to modify, do an unfold select the flat face, select the bend, this one, so we have basically a flat pattern here, gonna hit OK. You can use flat patterns too, I'm not gonna do this unfold because I want to discuss some things about the sketch. Uh, now in unfold, you can see it's unfolding, there's a small minus sign here, we have a refold face up here, if we hit that, it's gonna turn back to a cone, but what we wanna do now, we're gonna create a sketch. We're going to create a sketch on the flat face of the flat part, we are flattened here, I'm gonna hit P for project because we want to project this face here and be aware you can include it but I like to project only this face not the small flat part because shortly we're going to make this very very small so I'm simply going to select this here and I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to finish sketch and now if I hit with full face you can see the sketch stays in place like this and we can do things so Number one now, we're gonna change, do not, do not be too fast here, we need to change the sheet metal rules, we can do them in a short while, but step number one, this cut here is absurdly large, we don't want that, so we want to now, as we are done the steps we need to do, we can now reduce the size of this flat part here, and reduce the size of the gap. So, the flat part we created with a rule, uh, surface rule, rule surface back here, I'm gonna do right click, uh, edit feature, we're going to change this to 0. Point, uh, basically as small as possible. Do one thousandth of a millimeter, 0. 0.001, and hit OK. And to check that things still are working, I can now take the timeline, move it back. We can unfold it, and we can refold it. You always check that when you're playing on the sheet metal part because you might by mistake, which we do the next step, fuse the code together, and then you can't unfold it anymore. So. We have now reduced the flat part, and now we want to reduce the size of our cut here. And we did that with this sketch here, so we can edit the sketch, or simply right-click the sketch, say Show Dimensions, and we have a dimension here. So I'm going to change that to 0 0.01, 100. We cannot be smaller than the flat, we named it, which flat part of the sheet metal, because when we fuse, but 0 0.100 millimeter shouldn't uh, be visible in... Uh, uh, the sketch or anything is slightly break the sketch it sometimes does that so you, you might end up with not fully profiles but we're gonna have a look at it later and we're gonna move this back and check we can still unfold it and we can refold it 
good so now we are as close as possible you see we have a very very small cut so basically you have a very small thing here and so that shouldn't interfere but our sheet metal rules are still interfering with us if we do an inspect and we select let's select with an edge that's close we select this edge here that's the edge of the face or not the face sorry i want to select only the edge there and then if i select the corresponding edge in the sketch out here you can see out here the measure that uh, my first is 24.1793 but the length in the sketch is 23.9957 what's going on well this is because no closes the sheet metal rules uh, in fusion sheet metal rules tells fusion where the material bends and as you know most material doesn't bend on the surface outer surface or the inner surface it bends somewhere in the middle on aluminum it happens to be the k factor is 0.44 but we want to maintain the outer dimension of this so we want to set the k factor to one so we're going to go up here sheet, um, sheet metal rules and our little aluminum comes here we can open it up and have a look to see the k factor is 0.44 so we click the little pen icon it says uh, edit edit rule and we change the k factor to one it maintains the outside we change nothing else only the k factor to one to save and do close and if we now you see it fixed the sketch is now a full profile that but depends on not another things but anyway the important things are the dimension measure if we can now we can do a bit bigger one we can do the outer so we can hit the outer edge of the cone so this is the largest circumference of the cone and if we select it should be the same as this this is 502.6548 and number is 502.6448 that's the, the discrepancy here is due to the glitch we have with the, the small cat but as you see it's like it doesn't matter in the real world and of course we can do the same we did earlier we can do the edge up here this one and then select this and we can see 24.173 24.17 so now the sketch has the correct dimensions and i'm going to hide the first sketch we're going to have this one uh, and of course then how do we get this out of fusion we can right click the sketch you can do this also in the uh, personal version and do save as dxf and you can export this sketch as a dxf and then from there put it in your vinyl slicer or what you want to do for software to play around with it and of course you can also do other things with so this is how i would create a flat pattern from a strange cone let's uh, hide that body turn on that cone so you can see so we get a flat pattern of this yellow face here over into new component and can export it as a dxf I hope this is useful for some of you and with that take care see you around and goodbye